We welcome you back to DuckInThePot.com where we make recipes that you could make even if you have very little experience. Today we're making a California sushi roll which is a basic sushi roll with avocado, cucumber, and crab. Here's a list of ingredients and of course you can find the complete recipe at DuckInThePot.com So let's begin. You start by draining six cups of sushi rice with water just so you can get some of the starch out of the rice and then we use a rice cooker to cook your rice it makes perfect rice every time after your rice is done add it to a large bowl and put two tablespoons of rice vinegar and mix it thoroughly breaking up the rice you can fan the rice at this time to keep it cool then take your nori sheet, which is roasted seaweed. We cut some of it off. Here we cut about half of it off, but I think it's probably at best to cut about one quarter off. You take the shiny side, put it down, add some of your sticky rice, and then cover the nori completely with the rice. We're going to make our California roll with the rice on the outside. So you'll see that we're going to flip the rice over and then roll the sushi roll. If you wanted to keep the rice on the inside, you wouldn't flip it at this point. So go ahead and flip it, give it a good pat, and let's add our ingredients. We start with our imitation crab. Put enough to cover the roll across the width, and then add slices of hothouse cucumber and then avocado. You see we left a little bit of room to start the roll from the bottom to the top. You can see we also covered our bamboo mat with plastic. We've used just plastic bags and it works great. Now let's make our sushi roll. Start by rolling the nori over the ingredients using your hands to roll it over and then tuck it in. The mat should just be used to roll and then pack it in a little bit with the mat and then roll and pull the mat out and roll and pull the mat out until you've reached the end of the mat. And there you go. There's your sushi roll, California sushi roll. So now we're going to add some masago, which is smelt roe. It adds a good crunch and a nice saltiness to your California roll. We're also going to use sesame seeds on some of our California rolls for just a change up. So now take a knife, make sure it's wet and clean, and start cutting half, then half again, then half again. You can also cut the very ends to make it square. And then use those ends as your taste testers. You can serve your California roll with wasabi and pickled ginger. And we're roasting some cauliflower for a side. We'll show you that on a different recipe. And that's your California sushi roll from duckinapot.com. You want to eat this one at the end, Craig? Um, yeah, why not? Wild. <laughs> <laughs> mm, wild. Mm, that's good. Oh, you're right, those eggs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Before I came here. Well, this is the first for me. Um, I'm eating this, this roll thing. Um, this roll thing? Uh, roll thing? Uh, what is that, Greg? Uh, that is, is, is a, uh, a roll, a fish roll with seaweed and rice and, and everything good and nice. It's a fish roll, uh, Craig? Um, yeah, there's um, crab in there. Yeah, crab and avocado and, 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 and what do we call it? We call it a California roll. <laughs> what do you think? I think I'm hooked. Okay. This is this was a first for me. You know, and the the cauliflower? Fantastic. Mmm. Mm. We love it. I think I might eat four or five more. <laughs> it's delicious. It's so delicious. There's a California roll, but then also a twisted California rolls, which I'm going to call it, with the halibut in the middle. Oh, halibut. It's really good. Mm. 
Okay. It's very good. delicious. All of it's good. Like Craig said, the cauliflower is delicious as well. It's amazing. What do you think? Um, I'm a man of a few words. <laughs> Restaurant quality. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very good. Wow. <laughs> very nice. Glad you made it. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. See you next time on the Duck and a Pot Show. <laughs> <laughs>